Hi everyone, this is Natasha and this is my last shopping trip of May 2016 for Dollar Tree. I went to two different stores, um, Ellington, Connecticut and Tri-City Plaza Vernon. So let me show you what I got. Um, I got a 60 white light bulb and it's one of the LED for life. I was hoping they had the yellow bulbs which help on your porch lights to prevent bugs from circling around them. They did not have any. I also got this three pack of cosmetic jars, April bath and shower, and they are 30 mil each. And they're screw tops, pretty nice size. So if you make your own like bombs or if you need some smaller containers of lotion, like face um, stuff to take with you, so I got two packs of that. I got a spray bottle for um, the grill. I'm gonna label it so no one takes one of mine from the kitchen. Two more containers of these little white, I think the 38 ounce. Whenever I purchase something that is in a sealed package that does not have a V-sealable portion, I always pop them in here as leftovers. I got a bottle of detangler, <laughs> Barbie detangler, and yes, this is for me, and a total aside, my husband sprayed this in his hair and everyone at work kept telling him he smelled really good. So funny, he's a UPS driver. Um, I got two uh, basic command strip hooks uh, to go on the inside of the kitchen cabinets to hang up some extra dish towels, some more head chewy um, sour candy for a hubby, three glass jars of dills. This is the kosher dill. I also got the bread and butter relish, which is delicious. I got one last shopping trip and we already have half the jar consumed, so it's really good I got another one. And then the kosher slices. <clears throat> For those of you who make potato salad that has pickles in it, which I do, it's a Russian potato salad, half the work is already done when you get the slices because the big pickles are already cut into. All you have to do is slice them in strips and then dice them, so that's easy peasy. A uh, replacement nacho sauce. I know it's bad for you and it is balanced out with the veggie chips which are better than potato chips. And these are the sea salt, 30% less fat than potato chips, a 2.75 ounce bag. Got a package of little toasts. These are great as app for our hors d'oeuvres and there are 7.5 ounces, some guacamole chips, Look, I finally found one of the rolling pins. So that was one off of my wish list item. More candies. Um, I have tried the key lime uh, and there's three little chocolates inside. They're like cordials or truffles. Uh, key lime I have tried before, but I also saw creme brulee and a tiramisu. So I thought these would be nice little treats. Hubby's refills for the lint chocolates for his lunch bag. Some honey mustard onion uh, Snyder pieces. Hands down my favorite flavor. I did pick up a box of the alphabet cookies. I thought I would try them and I saw that they had the 25% more. The wedding cookies. Finally found those. New peanut, honey peanuts, which are pretty cool. I got a couple more of these coconut uh, chips because they're really Tasty. They're great on, on um, in granola or on top of yogurts. Um, Penny brand pretzels, basic staple. Oven bake rice um, rice crisps in caramel. And then I did pick up three of the Del Monte juice drinks. They're not full juice, and they were 33 cents each. So I got the pineapple the Four Season and the Mango. Four season, yeah. And then I got some Juicy Juice, and this sounds silly, but it's kind of a portion control thing. Um, we don't have any children in the house, however, sometimes you want a little something more than just water. We mostly drink water. But these are 100% juice, and it's no sugar added. So I got apple, fruit punch, and orange. So I'll just stash them in the fridge. Nice and cool for when you need something yummy. A couple of packs of garbage bags. We just use these for simple paper receptacles, like you know, in the bathrooms. Um, I have one in my um, office and studio. They're not the best quality bags, but we gather these and then put them in uh, big trash can, uh, trash bags. 
I picked up a handy chamois for my studio to clean off uh, stamps. Another box of the little snack bags. And those are great not just for snacks. Like when we get a package of something that's large and it says that there's... Let's say that the, this box of wedding cookies, once we open it and before we actually consume them, it says that there's five portions in it. I would divide them into five equal portions in those little snack bags. That way each little bag is a portion and you can grab it for lunches or as a snack with tea without sticking your hand into the entire box because then you don't know how much you've consumed unless you're keeping track, so that's a little tip. Um, and I also use those for sending my husband off to work with rechargeable batteries back and forth because he's lost more batteries before I started using the little snack bags than I can account for. Um, in the office supply section, I found these larger one and a half inch magnets. And I have a project that I'm gonna be doing um, in, uh, in a separate video. So that I found these in blue and they also have them in the same pink. Um, and that's a six count and these in the eight count, they have them in clear blue and pink. I'm hoping to find the clear in these larger ones, but I have not yet in any of the stores that I've shopped at, but fingers crossed I will at some point. Oh, here's the clear one inside. And I also got one of these containers for the same project. And then um, I know I took a picture of this. Actually, I'll have all the pictures posted at the end, including the store that was looked like it gone through a tornado or a tornado had gone through it at the end of the video if you want to see what else I saw but did not pick up so I got a pack of these stickers and these are 3d stickers and they're very simple uh, very similar to um, Kane company for those of you who are scrapbookers they have glitter on them and epoxy so and, and dimension and they're very pretty and for a dollar this is a great deal so I got those and there was um, some other designs in addition I also picked up this um, kind of quick juicing recipe book um, 100 different recipes for juicing we juice and uh, it's always a good idea to kind of get some more ideas. I also picked up a five pack of the same color of this corrugated poster board and the bright fuchsia for um, one of my planners. I got one of these um, self inking do it stamps. They had I think five or six different designs and I did take a picture of all the different um, sayings but I just got the plain thank you. They had trying to think fantastic uh, sign here um, various ones I hopefully the image captured it I got um, four of the newer washies I got this design in like little circles I got this cute one with the drinks really like that uh, this one with the numbers I thought it'd be great to put on the bottom of sealing or sealing a birthday card envelope and this really pretty kind of masculine one because you know Father's Day is coming up you're gonna have to find ideas for Father's Day gift ceiling and then I got two packs of the 200 sheet each of the craft sticker notes which are the standard you know um, three by three um, and I already opened one up and have already used it in projects and then last but not least I got myself an um, smudge eye sponge elf brush because the other brushes that I got in the previous haul went to my mom for her birthday gift. So as I had said, I did find um, the rolling pin, but not the um, cutting boards. I think they had bamboo cutting boards. And again, stores are hit and miss. So here's what I found out. I did a little bit of research and it turns out that the quality and the quantity of items your local store might be receiving is directly based on the type of store it is. Whether, and what's, they're, not, they're not called flagships, but there's three different types of stores. And it's in, whether it's a small, medium, or a large by volume and sales. And obviously the smaller ones get fewer items and fewer of the items or may not get some items entirely and the larger stores, and not necessarily by size, but by, um, sales so like more popular areas so if you're ever looking for something that is highly sought after I would definitely recommend first checking with a store find out what size store they're considered and I'll include a link below or maybe come in the description 
what the three different names are. And for those of you who work at this at Dollar Tree, by all means, chime in. We want to hear, you know, the we want to hear facts. We don't want to go based on rumors. So as far as I was able to uh, find, these are fact factual. This is factual information. So. You can always call the store and ask them what type of store they are, like what their size is you know, classified as, which will give you a little bit of a clue whether they're likely to receive some of the newer items and in the newer items that are coming out, whether they, they will get a uh, higher quantity, like um, some of the Thai toys, the little squishy or the stuffed toys I have never seen in any of the stores that I've shopped at. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, I think one of the pictures you'll see at the end, the baskets that I took pictures, they're completely empty. There there wasn't even dust bunnies. There was nothing. So hopefully that helps out. Um, so <coughs> excuse me. If you have found any cool items that um, you've been after, or if you're after something you have never seen, as you could see, I've yet to find any of the Bolero products. At this point, I might have lost my love for them, or even the desire to find them. Again, if I walk into a store and I suddenly see them there, I might see which ones I would pick out. I'm definitely looking for some of the face wipes, but everything else is, you know, it's the thrill of the search, I think, part of it. But all of these items are going to be put away. And if you have any questions, please ask. Don't forget about thumbs up. It's free for you and helps me out. And if you're ever curious about any of my other videos, I will add the Dollar Tree playlist, which not only includes hauls, it also has projects and things. I've even did a whole series of what to do with all that washy thing of uh, seven or eight videos on that um, alone. So, and if you don't already subscribe, um, you can hit that button as well and you'll never miss another video from me again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.